Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at CountUp, the connected counter available for the iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. Go ahead and open this up and it brings us into the main menu where we can go ahead and see all of our counters. Now these are counters that I've created and what I can do is also invite other people within my group to join a counter as well. So I'm gonna swipe through, I can see all the counters, the owner, when it was created, if it has location tracking, and for free I can do a max count of 1000 counts and two users per counter. Now the way that I created these counters was just tapping on the new counter button in the top of the screen. Here I can give it a name description, choose whether I want to track the location, and if I want to add form fields. Now there's going to be another feature that we're going to go over discussing later on which is collections which you can see down here in the bottom right hand corner. Now to add a counter to a collection we need to make sure that when we're setting up a new counter we take a couple things into consideration. So as I'm creating my new counter we'll come into here. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. We'll just give this one State of Tech Apps. Now I can give it a description. That part is optional. Now this is where it comes into play with the collections. I cannot select form fields if I plan on adding this counter to a collection. And if I want to add two counters to a collection, I need to make sure both counters either have location checked on or location checked off. Now, whenever I add form fields, if I were to tap this on, I'm going to be able to select from a different form fields. So if I tap select here, I can actually import form fields from another counter. Or if I tap create counter, I'm going to be able to select and create my own form fields. So for now, we'll just go ahead and create counter with form fields. And now I have my new counter. So if I come into the counter that we just created, I'll tap on it. It's going to load me in and now I need to add fields, being that this was a counter that I added form fields for. So tapping on add fields, I can see that I have a text box, a switch, select, number, a text area, as well as a date. So if I go ahead and we'll just add all of them so you can see how it works. We'll tap add and now I have all of my different fields. So my text box, I'm just going to give this a field label. I can rearrange my fields by using this hamburger icon on the left hand side of the screen and then dragging the fields wherever I would like them to go. Once I've done that, just tap the update button in the bottom of the screen. My form data has been updated and now what I'm going to do is come back out to the form and you can see everything that I've added as my forms are now out here. So whenever someone enters in this input, I'll be able to collect all that information. Down below we have our counter tab and now if we come into data tracker, this will show me the overall total, current total, and peak total, as well as show me all the values. And then on my team what I can do is actually add another user to the team. So the way that I do this is up here in the top of the screen, I'm just going to enter in the person's email address. I'm going to tap search, and now you see the person is going to be added, and if I tap on the plus, it's going to add them to my team. So they are part of the counter now, and this person will actually be able to open up count up on their device and actually be able to input all the data in this box with me as well. Tap into the settings icon whenever I'm in a counter up in the top right hand corner. Tapping up there will allow me to go ahead and change some of the fields and general settings of my counter as well as upgrade my counters to buy more counts as well as users. And tapping edit form will allow me to edit all the fields that I have on that counter. Now let's take a look at how location tracking counters work. So I already have one set up here in the game section. And this is a counter that I'm using to track a specific location. By default, it's going to use your phone's current GPS coordinates. But if you don't feel like it's 100% accurate, you can tap up here on the little pin marker and you can move it around. Currently in this version, if I were to move that pin and if I were to add a counter, the pin is going to move itself back. In a future update, that pin will be able to be pinned down so it will not move. Now when you're ready to look at the location data, tap on data tracker, it comes down here, we can see the map, and all of the pink little dots represent the current person that's out of the data. So if you're sharing this information with another user, you'll see their name up there on the top and the pins will be different colors, letting you know who's added what here on the map. Now let's go back out to the main menu and add in a collection. Being that I have two counters, I have counter one and counter two, 
that are set up for the collection process, as I mentioned earlier, when I create a new counter, make sure that your two counters that you want to add either both have location on or off, and that form fields are always off. So now that we have that set up, what we're going to do is come into collections. We're going to tap add new collection. We can give this a name, give it a description if we would like to. And being that the two counters that I'm adding are not tracking location, I need to make sure track location is off. But if the two counters that I'm going to add are track location, turn that on. So now add collection. Tap on the collection we just created. Tap add counters. And it's going to show you any counters that you can add that are set up for this. So I have counter one and counter two. Update collection. And now the counters have been added. We'll need to make sure and double check that counter one was selected. We'll update collection. And now I have both of my counters. And they also pull in all the values that are already in there. So being that both these counters have already counted up to a certain value, they've been added. And now I can tap the plus button or minus button on both of these and notice the values are updated. So my total, high, ratio, average, low, and then delta are all calculated. Now on any one of these counters you might have noticed right below the settings is usually a CSV button. What this is going to do is download a CSV chart and send it directly to my email address. So if I were to open up my email, say on my device or even on my computer, I'm going to have all that collection data that I've added in my counters onto my computer in a form of a spreadsheet. So if I were to open up one of these other counters, you're going to notice that I have up here, so here's all of my information. I have my data tracker, and right up there on the top right hand corner is the CSV file. So if I tap on that, it's going to send me an email to my email address with the spreadsheet for all the data that I've collected on that counter. So once again, this application is called CountUp, the connected counter. If you like it, pick it up for your iPhone and iPad in the App Store, and for your Android devices in the Google Play Store.